We're in a global attention span crisis. A goldfish has longer attention span than the average human. The solution is meditation. Hey guys, I'm Aaron from Aaron Plays Fun Facts. I still remember, after meditating for about two to three weeks, I was already seeing results. Meditation is incredibly easy, yet it offers astonishing benefits. Today, I'm going to be talking about meditation and how you can do it too. 80% of executives, leaders, and generally successful people meditate. Meditation improves all areas of your life mostly because it improves your mental health. The number one benefit that meditation offers is mindfulness. Mindfulness leads to more productivity. In 2020, the average attention span for a human is 8.25 seconds. The average attention span for a goldfish is nine seconds. Even horrifyingly worse, the average attention span for a Generation Z is 1.3 seconds. When kids and teenagers play video games, scroll on social media, they're training their brains to have shorter attention spans, meaning they can't focus on something and only focus on that. Consequences of short attention spans is the inability to complete everyday tasks. You're being distracted by everything. This is where meditation comes in. If you have full control of your mind, you can have full control of the world. More or less, but that sounded so cool. Let me explain how meditation works. Meditation is a cycle of four steps. Focus, distraction, awareness, refocus. You can imagine like it's training your brain to have a longer attention span. Focus. Most meditation guides use focus as your breathing, but it can be anything really in the present, like a feeling or a smell. But inhale, exhale is the way everybody likes it. You have to be constantly and totally aware of the air entering your lungs and the air exiting your lungs. Distraction. Since the modern world has conditioned your attention span to be garbage, a random thought will pop out. The thought can be meditation itself what you're gonna do tomorrow, or something completely random, awareness. It'll take a few seconds or longer for you to realize that the thought popped down and you're not focused on your breathing anymore because the distraction is subconscious. It'll take a bit for you to realize it. Finally, refocus. Congratulations, you've just trained your mind. I know it might seem insignificant and maybe annoying to have to keep focus, refocus, focus, refocus. 10 minutes a day is all you need. Persevere on it and you'll see progress soon. Trust the process. Okay, here's how to start meditating. For building habits, you really want to be consistent. So quantity over quality. Even if you meditate for one minute at the start, fair enough but do it every day. Stack your habits. For example, I'm gonna take 10 minutes every day, every day before bed. I'll shower, read, journal, meditate, and then sleep. See how they stack? Some people like to meditate in the morning or the afternoon, but it works well for me at night. There is no one perfect time for everybody, so you really have to try it out for yourself. Morning afternoon and night is a good place to start. Today, meditate for one minute. Tomorrow, for two minutes. The day after that, five minutes. Build up to 10 to 20 minutes. Life will get in your way sometimes, but don't miss it twice. Here's what it did for me. A little less than a month of consistent meditating, I can now enter a complete flow state pretty easily for about an hour and a half. And while working, actually get a lot of work done, like making these videos. Modern society has taken your most precious tool, your time and attention. Take it back with meditation. Please like this video and subscribe if it helped you. Share this video and channel with friends and family. 
Doing that is the best way to support me and this channel for free. Are you ready to meditate? One minute after this video. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron from Aaron Plays Fun Facts. Peace.